Doesn't this look amazing? Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep. Look out. Pull up stump. Thank you. Oh. There's a lot of pressure on tonight because I know that I need to tell Nick exactly how I'm feeling. I knew, I knew it would come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is just growing on me every time I see him. Beverage? Yes, please. Sure. I'm definitely falling head over heels for him. It is an amazing feeling, but God doesn't make this whole thing harder. Today? Yeah. I had a, had a cracking day. I'm seeing your hair flowing in the wind there up on that headland. Beautiful sight. <laughs> and your little your smile, and it's a pleasant sight to see. And I'm, I'm glad today we got to spend some time together. And, so am I. And almost jump out of a plane. It was almost a great story. It was, <laughs> it was almost a successful date. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, you're going to have to take another one. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I see you, it'll probably be a very serious moment. The rose ceremony? They're my favourite. Yes. <laughs> this is going to be one of the last moments that I get to really share with Nick how I'm feeling. I'm nervous to really open myself up to potentially be hurt, but today is definitely all about being brave. I'm trying to work out how you would see uh, us going forward outside of this? Or what does it look like? I'm actually really glad you asked me that okay. because, yeah, there's some things I wanted to share. Okay. When I do close my eyes and I forget about all the hustle and bustle and all of this fancy stuff, mm -hmm. I think about how much you and I have in common and I think we have a lot. I think our passion for life and our love for family and friends and everyone around us, when we put all of our you know, models, values, and all of that together, it just amplifies and the picture just gets bigger and better in my eyes. And um, you and I, moving forward, I think the love, the passion, and the drive would be endless between us. I really do. I think it was good for me to see Sophie show a bit of emotion tonight because I'm going to have to make some pretty hard decisions pretty soon now. That's a, it's a bit of a difference, so from... <laughs> I know. ..from the start and those cocktail parties and... I know, I had a slow start. I had a real slow start. Mm. Um, but in saying that, with everything that I've just given you, mm. I've never been more vulnerable, I don't think. Really? Yeah. Okay. So it's hard. Mm. So here I am now putting my heart on a platter and dishing it to Nick, like, freaks me out. But it was super important for me to put all of my feelings, all my thoughts on the line and give him everything I've got. I am very clearly falling head over heels for you and I'll be there very open and willing to start something amazing with you um, if it wouldn't be me at the end, okay? I was wondering if Sophie was ever going to open up and tell me how she really feels, but I'm glad she did. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Sophie has a gorgeous smile and her energy is infectious and my feelings for Sophie have really grown. It is an amazing feeling telling Nick how I feel. I'm really glad that I did and I'm actually really proud of myself for finally opening up and just giving him my all.